So where I keep my stuff is is totally separate from uh, my wife's backyard. <laughs> That's what we call it. My backyard, her backyard. Her backyard is nice and has uh, gr the grass is growing and flowers and stuff and everything. So she kind of told me that my backyard is starting to get a little, I don't know. A little dumpy looking so I was given uh, a little bit of pressure from her to uh, she doesn't like coming out here when she comes out here she goes ah that's all this stuff I told her I was like that's all that's all stuff from work you know it's just left over that's just what you accumulate when you're always working so but um, she's not a real pain in the butt about it but it kind of bothers me that she views it that way, so I'm, I want to do something about it, so. I think the rest of this is gonna I'm gonna have to go put shoes on and uh, you know I was trying to have a quiet weekend that's why I'm not really throttling up the machine all the way either but what happened was is all the sheetrock just you know deteriorated I mean look at it it's just this has got leaves in it and some dirt um, because this um, this bunch of mess was um, near. It was next to my deck. <clears throat> when we were gutting the house, it was in the middle of the winter, and we were just throwing stuff out the back door, and uh, you know, I had a duplex, and we turned it into one one house. So it was in the middle of the winter. We just open the door with just throwing stuff out the back and we kind of had no idea because I'm not a builder or anything so we had no idea that the sheetrock would just like th within like days like few days the, the, the sheetrock just crumbled so we had to rake it up 
and um, leaves and dirt and stuff got in it but I'm gonna get a grass rake and just grass rake all this up and and put it in the bucket and then put it in the truck I'm, I'm not even gonna normally you don't want dirt mixed in with your demo because you pay by the ton but in this case I don't want anything left over you, you know what I mean because this is I'm trying to clean up everything this was a nightmare. I, I would never do this again. Don't pile your demo on any kind of trailer that doesn't dump. Because, I mean, I probably could have went to the dump with a snow shovel and shoveled it off. But the problem is, is they get really angry. If you can't get in there and get out of there, I would be there for too long and they would probably, you know... I don't know. I've had problems with them before. They're they're kind of a pain in the pain in the butt, um, and that's that's my nice the nicest way of putting it. That's that's not how I really feel. What I, I really feel is the the dump is a complete and total rip off. Um, I used to have a dumpster business with containers, and and I sold it because I couldn't I couldn't stand dealing with the dump. I I just absolutely couldn't stand going there waiting in line and then they nitpick every little thing so we don't do a lot with the dump no more um but anyways let me get some shoes and i'll get a grass rake and rake all this um because my yard back here my plan is to have nothing here just park my machines in this one one little spot like neatly in this one little spot and um, have nothing else here you know and then out there where I used to have my loam pile I'm going to remove the loam pile there's a little divot I'm gonna take that nice sandy fill spread it in there and I'm gonna I might just grass it make a big field out there because I can't screen here anymore and I kind of want to have just a nice peaceful area to just go walk the dog on my own property. You know, like a backfield, you know. So, I'm rambling again. Let me go get shoes on and grab the grass rake. Alright, got my boots on, ready to work. Little disclaimer, no, I do not work here. I worked for him years ago. Uh, the sweatshirt's really comfortable. I, um, and the owner's, the owner was really nice to me, so, when I worked there. So, I left because I wanted to do something else. But, just a little disclaimer there. I, I don't work there. It's just, um, they were really nice to me when I was there. And I wanted to do something else, so I don't mind wearing their sweatshirt because they're not a-holes. So, um, I just had to say that because somebody commented, one of my friends commented about it, uh, a while ago, so... I stored all this on this trailer because believe it or not it's easy to scoop off the floor of this trailer than the ground come on dog keep bumping the camera Look at you. obsessed with the stick so I don't want any of this stuff getting on the ground in the woods so that's why I actually pulled the trailer out here because this is actually hard packed ground so it'll be easier to rake it
probably gonna have to get a magnet. There's a lot of screws and stuff that fell through the cracks in the board in the trailer, so I don't I don't want to be running them over. I want to get everything real, real clean. Everything. Well, styrofoam is the worst. Pretty good where he's standing. There's a little bit of sheetrock dust and some leaves, but I think that'll rot. So she's got some stuff I'm gonna top off the truck with from the basement. We're gonna clean out the basement, throw some of that in there. I got a couple little things around here, um, and then we'll check back with you when we go to the dump. Mm -hmm. 